Each week, we're joined by Hope Rises for stories of inspiration. We have a good one this morning. Colleen, good morning to you. Tell us who's on the couch with us. Good morning, Chris. We are back with Marika Dimitrenko. She is an exchange student from Ukraine who just arrived in August of this year. And we're here with her host mom, too, Kelly Zumeda, who's also a teacher at Christian Central Academy. Oh where Maria is currently going right now. <laughs> so you see a lot of Marika then, obviously, uh, yes, day and do. night, right? Uh, Marika, tell me, uh, first of all, I can't imagine the things that must run through your mind on a daily basis. Your family's still in Ukraine. Tell us how they are. And as you watch the news every night and see what's going on over there, what must run through your mind? Yeah, I'm so afraid about my parents. They're still in Ukraine and some of my friends in Kiev and like, around Ukraine and it's so hard to me to know but I know people praying for it. I know Ukrainians are strong and I hope everything will be okay. I'm lucky because like my family okay <laughs> and my friends too. So like no one lost their homes. Mm -hmm. Good. Very good. Yeah. Well we're happy you're over here uh, you know safe with us here in Western Western New York. Um, let's talk about what it must, what it's like in the home. I mean, on a nightly basis, to, to know what's going on over there. Um, I can't imagine how difficult it must be to have such a real life scenario play out uh, with the emotions in the home. Yeah, we're constantly trying to be a support to Marika through the different things that she faces and. Just the other day, for instance, there was some bombing in a city where she has a friend mm. who lives and she felt really sad and concerned for her friend and she had tried to write to her friend, contact her friend and she didn't get any response for several days. And she felt nervous about that and afraid and super relieved when she finally heard from her friend. So those experiences happen, but for the most part we live our normal life. Mm -hmm. She enjoys bas our volleyball. Yeah. and her snacks. And <laughs> <laughs> typical teenager, yes, right? Yes, very typical. Around Christian Central, the staff, the students, I assume there are, you're seeing them all welcome Marika with open arms. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, what have you, uh, Marika, at Christian Central, tell me about some of, some of your friendships there and what you're uh, experiencing there in school. I love this school so much. Teachers are so respect respectful mm -hmm. <laughs> for students and I love it so much. And studying here much easier than in Ukraine, so I love it much more. <laughs> yeah, and everyone so nice for me, and I very appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, you may or may not know this is called the city of good neighbors, Buffalo. So we hope we're uh, you know living up to that. Most certainly, uh, you've been here since August. Then, what are some of the things that you've done well in town so far? Um, I started. I joined like volleyball, JV, but team. <laughs> so I enjoyed so much. Uh, I've been in like Niagara Falls, uh, what else? So yeah, Letchworth, I was- Letchworth I think maybe, yeah. Yeah, Letchworth. And I was did so much beautiful places, so. Well, this is the best time of the year, in my opinion, to be in Western New York with the fall colors. That's just my opinion, but uh, we're so glad that you're here. Uh, we're glad you're safe here. We're thinking of your family. Uh, they're gonna be in our thoughts and we hope that you uh, are well, of course, understanding the gravity of what's going on there, able to enjoy your time here, at least to a certain extent, with us. Thanks so much for coming on Thank you. this morning, everybody. We'll be right back with Mike 